What's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing well today. Been wanting to put together this video for a little while now. It's because it seems like one of my most asked questions on my coyote hunting setup is just kind of a general overview on what shotgun I use and kind of how it's set up uh, for coyote hunting. First, I do want to show that it is clear. But just want to take a little bit of time here, go over this setup, how I have it set up for my use, and I also use this for turkey hunting as well, and don't change anything whatsoever between turkey hunting and coyote hunting. So what this is, this is a 12 gauge Benelli Supernova. And then we'll start out up here with the choke. I'm using the Carlson's, hopefully that'll focus there. I'm using the Carlson's uh, Dead Coyote Choke. So it works extremely well for not only my turkey loads as well as the coyote loads that I use. Just throws a really nice tight pattern for me. Um, it's performed really well and I see no reason to change it. Uh, moving on to the sights, I did take the factory sights off. I installed a set of the high vis sights. And I'll make sure and link this stuff down below so you guys can take a look. But the high vis sights are nice because they come with, I think it's eight different tubes, uh, three or four different colors, I think it is, and then some different diameters that you can install here. Uh, some's a little bit thinner, some's a little bit thicker, just whatever suits your eye the best. Uh, kept the rear bead on it, just like it was out of the factory. No reason to change the rear bead. And then you'll notice here, I did add an extension tube to this. This is nice because I'm shooting three and a half inch shells for turkey loads. And this allows me to get six in the tube plus one in the chamber. And then this is kind of overkill, but I've just always been in the habit to carry a couple extra on my sling. That way I always know exactly where they are if I ever need them. But now that I have this extension tube, I don't really foresee any reason to ever need that, but it's there if I need a couple extra right here. I can just reach down and grab it. And moving on to the sling here, this is just an Allen sling. Uh, nothing fancy about this thing, but it does have this neoprene kind of soft pad here, and it's just real flexible, uh, conforms to your body really well. Just, I've used that for a long, long time, and really comfortable sling. A couple shell holder spots here, two up top, and then two down below. You can buy a piece of pick rail and install a red dot here. I did run it that way for just a little bit, but I like the open sights better for coyotes and turkey as well it seems like everything happens so quickly uh, not only trying to self film but just trying to call a coyote into shotgun range you always want to be able to you know pull that up super quick not have to fish around look for uh, the red dot and locate the dot inside the scope so i just like to keep this with open sights works best for me and other than that everything else is stock uh, definitely wanted to buy one. I love the pistol grip on a shotgun. It just allows you to control it a lot better, I think. Once again, that's self-preference, uh, but it just gives you something to hold on, hold on to. Always have something right there to grab a hold of whenever this is laying across my knee or my lap, however I'm set up for coyotes. Then we'll move along here real quick and I'll show you what kind of ammo, what kind of shells that I shoot for coyotes. And just like for my turkey loads, I'm shooting Winchesters. These are the Varma X. These only, to my knowledge, come in three inch, and these are one and a half ounce, and they're the BB shot. So I shoot three and a half inch shells for turkey loads, and then these only come in three inch. I haven't checked for a while. I've got a lot of boxes of this stocked up, but uh, I don't think they come in three and a half inch yet. We'll take one quick shot here just to kind of show you what kind of pattern the shotgun does throw and then hopefully you know help you guys out with any decisions you need and buying a shotgun setup for coyote hunting or predator hunting so i don't think i need to explain this this is pretty obvious that this is a coyote <laughs> uh yeah not much of an artist but got a coyote here uh the body if i can see it here the body is really narrow but we're going to shoot a pattern at this right kind of in the neck shoulder area um, that way i can give you guys an idea of what kind of pattern it throws but this isn't really good uh, scale wise, but hey, that's what we're dealing with. So there's the lucky coyote that's gonna get a shot today. And we'll go get this set up and see what kind of pattern it throws. The target's currently set up at 30 yards away. We'll take one shot. All right. 
right, got the target here. Performed pretty well. Hopefully you can see that. Just a ton of damage up here, and keep in mind this is a pretty narrow body that here that I uh, creatively drew myself. You can see there, kind of give you an idea there of all the pellets that landed in there, all the BBs that landed in the kill zone. These shells, this ammo does really well for me. Really happy with the uh, setup of the shotgun. And uh, just figured I would throw that out there and hopefully help anybody out that's maybe looking at a shotgun for predator hunting, coyote hunting, and then can also be used as turkey hunting as well. So any questions at all, make sure and comment down below. Appreciate you guys being here to watch. Make sure and like this video. Subscribe to the channel to see plenty more videos coming out. And as always, happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.